The prophet Musa was born to a family of the enslaved children of Israel. His mother feared that her son would be killed by Pharaoh's soldiers. That fear continued until she received a revelation from God. God revealed to the mother of the prophet Musa what she had to do. Before Pharaoh's men could kill the baby, the mother of the prophet Musa placed him in a chest and left him afloat on the water of the Nile. The current carried the prophet Musa to Pharaoh's palace. The family of Pharaoh picked him up so that he might be an enemy and a source of grief to them. Certainly Pharaoh and Haman and their troops were in the wrong. The wife of Pharaoh said, A source of delight for me and for you. Do not kill him. It may well be that he will be of use to us, so perhaps we could adopt him as a son. They were not aware. Thus, following the decree predetermined by God, Pharaoh and his family rescued the prophet Musa from the river and adopted him. The prophet Musa began to be raised like a noble Egyptian in Pharaoh's palace. The prophet Musa grew up in Pharaoh's palace. He came of age and God gave him knowledge and wisdom. The event which marked a turning point in his life was a fight in which he was involved. In this fight, the prophet Musa took the side of the man who was from his party without looking into who was in the right. Though he did not intend to kill him, the other man died from the blow. The prophet Musa realized he had erred and repented, seeking refuge in God. He begged God to forgive the sin he had committed. He promised never to be on the side of sinners in the future. However, the prophet Musa had killed an Egyptian. The Egyptians would seek their revenge. As we are told in the Quran, the prophet Musa spent the night in hiding. Pharaoh and the leading men beside him discussed Musa's punishment, even the possibility of executing him. Someone who overheard the discussion came to warn Musa. At this, the prophet Musa left the city and went away from Egypt. The prophet Musa turned to the east of Egypt, to Midian, beyond the Sinai Desert. Throughout all that had happened to him, the prophet Musa continued to trust in God and pray to him. On the way to Median, he said, Hopefully my Lord will guide me to the right way. The prophet Musa encountered two women by the waters of Median. The women were frightened of the other shepherds there and were unable to water their animals. The prophet Musa ran to the women's assistance and watered their flocks. In return for this behavior, the women's father invited the prophet Musa to pay his wages for drawing water for them. He asked the prophet Musa to stay with them and to help him. He said that he would give one of his daughters to the prophet Musa as his wife. The prophet Musa accepted this proposal. <laughs> 